In the SQL language, you can perform aggregation over multiple rows using aggregate functions. So, so far, all SQL expressions have referred to the values in a single row at a time. What do I mean by that? Well, if we look at the structure of a select statement, we see that there are expressions in the column descriptions, also in the WHERE clause and the ORDER BY clause. Each one of these expressions can refer to column names in this table. But what they actually are referring to is the value in a particular row for that column. So, when you use an expression here in order to filter the rows of the table, using an expression such as the latitude of some city is greater than 38, what you're evaluating is whether the value of the latitude column for a particular row is above some number, 38. And if so, you keep that row, otherwise you get rid of that row. But the expression itself is evaluated per row. Everything we've seen has looked like that so far. But now we're going to look at what's called an aggregate function, which can appear in the expressions in the column descriptions, and it computes a value from a group of rows. For instance, by summing together all of the different values for a particular column. So, we're going to introduce a new data set in order to study this problem. Here's a table of animals. A dog is a kind of animal with four legs and weighs about 20 pounds. A cat has four legs and weighs about 10 pounds. A ferret has four legs and weighs about 10 pounds. That's a pretty big for a ferret, actually, but let's just go with it. A parrot has two legs because it's a bird, and it weighs about six pounds. A larger bird would be a penguin, which has two legs and weighs 10 pounds. And then I was trying to think, what's something with two legs and weighs a lot? You might think an ostrich, but I chose a T-Rex, which weighs about six tons. So here's my table of animals. And now I can write select statements that refer to the animal's table. Here is a select statement that contains an aggregate function in its column description. Select max legs from animals. Legs refers to a particular column in this table, and max legs is a computation over multiple rows. So we haven't included a WHERE clause, so we haven't included any filtering, and yet, instead of having a six-row output from this six-row input, we get only one output row, which takes the maximum value over every value that appears in the legs column. So this thing is called an aggregate function, max. And you can also take the min and the sum and some others. So let's try it out. First, I'm going to load the same table that you saw before. Now I can select the max number of legs from animals, and I'll get four. I could also select the sum of the weight of every kind of animals, and I'll get 12,056, which is what you get when you sum up all of these weight numbers. The argument that I pass to max can be an arbitrary combination. I can ask, what is the maximum value of the legs minus the weight? And then I could add 5 to that and take all these in animals and I'll get 1. Now where did this 1 come from? Well, I computed what's the legs 2 minus the weight 6 is negative 4, which is the biggest value I can get from any row, plus 5 gives me 1. Okay, it's also possible to combine multiple different aggregations. I could select the maximum legs and the min weight from animals, which would be 4 and 6. Now there's no animal that has 4 legs and 6 weight, so these are computed independently of each other. I can even combine them. I can take the maximum legs and subtract out the minimum weight, and I'll get negative 2. Now all of this can be combined with a WHERE clause, so I could say select 
the min legs and the maximum weight from animals. But perhaps I don't want to include the big guy, the T-Rex. So I could say I'm only interested in rows where the name does not equal T-Rex. Sorry, where the kind does not equal T-Rex. And then I'll get the maximum weight is actually 20, which came from the dog. Now, in addition to min and max and sum, you can also compute the average value, so the average number of legs from animals takes an aggregation over all six rows and comes with up with 3.0. You can also count the number of legs. Now what does count do? Well, it just tells you how many different rows there are. So there are six rows in animals. It doesn't matter whether I count the legs or I count the kind or I count the weight, I'll get the same thing which is why a more typical syntax uses this special form count star. And count star just counts the rows. Now there is a reason why you would put a particular column name inside count, and that reason is that there's a special keyword called distinct, which you can place before a column name, and then it will count the number of different distinct legs. So there's four legs or there's two legs. What about the con distinct values for weight? Well, there's four of them. There's 20, 10, 6, and 12,000. This distinct keyword can also be applied to the sum. So this sums up 12,000, 10, 6, and 20, leaving out the repeat. Now, it's possible to come up with a column descriptions that mix aggregate functions and single values that don't include aggregate functions. What you get is the number of rows that you would get from aggregating. So an aggregate function also selects a particular row in the table, along with aggregating the value that you ask it to aggregate, and that row may be meaningful. So, what do I mean by may be meaningful? Well, if you ask, what's the max weight as one column and then the kind as another column from animals, you end up getting one row. And the row you get has a maximum weight of 12,000. And what kind do you get? Well, you get the kind T-Rex. How does that work? Well, what happens is that when you maximize the weight, it selects this weight, but it also selects this whole row. So they're referring to kind or legs at this point will tell you about the maximal value. Who is the animal that weighs 12,000 pounds? Well, that would be the T-Rex. Now, what if you ask, what's min kind comma kind from animals? Well, min kind will compute the minimum in alphabetical order. That would be cat. And it will select this whole row. So if you pick out the kind from that, you'll get cat again. Now, you don't always get something so sensible. If I say select max legs, comma, kind from animals, what should I get? Well, there's actually four different animals that all have maximal legs. So you'll get something arbitrary. Or if you say select average weight, comma, kind from animals, then there's all these different weights. Which ones should you pick? Which one is the average? Well, none of them are the average. So we can try this out, and you'll see sometimes you get a meaningful value, sometimes you don't. So what we'll do is we'll select the maximum weight from animals. We get 12,000. If we ask for the kind as well, we'll find out it's the T-Rex. The minimum weight and the kind is 6, and it's the parrot. If we ask for the minimum kind, then that will check lexicographic order or alphabetical order and pick cat. And then it picks out that whole row, so a cat is a cat, and it has how many legs and how much weight? Well, 4 and 10. Now, when you select out the average weight from animals, that gives you something meaningful, 2009. But if you also try to select what kind is that, 
It tells you it's the T-Rex. And what does that mean? T-Rex is not average in any way. So you have to be careful about selecting single values in conjunction with aggregations. Some aggregations give you a meaningful value, like min and max. Others don't, like average. And that last example we talked about, what's the maximum legs? Well, that's four. If I ask for what kind is that, there's no clear answer, because there are three different things that have that many legs. And it gives us cat. But cat isn't really the right answer. I mean, a cat or a dog or a ferret all have four legs. 